would you trade it. would you trade a woman's face for an extra two breasts? No. No, because then it just starts. It, it depends <laughs> what the woman looks like. She still then has you, a mouth. Then you end up getting like, like, like that. Thing uh, if she's like a butterface, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so wait, I got it. <laughs> if she's a butterface. So you would trade an ugly girl's face for two extra tits? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> wait, I, somebody oh, asked you, a, "Would you rather?" In uh, on my Twitter, like I mean, hours ago. I mean, fair. I mean, I could trade for like two B cups, right? To make it fair. I'd be down for a, like a "Would you rather" session if that's what you guys want to do. So, so here's my "Would you rather." And I'll start with Bash. Would you rather give up sex for a year or give up the internet for a year? Sex. 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 There's plenty of sex on the internet. Because, yeah, I'm going to do it on the internet. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, if I have the internet, what do I need sex for, right? Yeah, really. (laughs) I'll just order a flashlight. Dude, I did not expect everyone to so, like, rapidly agree to giving up sex. I can do that, man. Kyle didn't speak up. I'm on a 19-year streak of my own. I can go another year. Can I get ahead? Does that mean that I can't use any website? Is that basically, is that what that means? I mean, yeah, for you. Off. Uh, yeah, I'm th- like, for some of us, there's like career implications involved. No, yeah, but yeah, I can really. have somebody else do all that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that, that, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, that's give getting a little finagly, though. I don't know about that. No, I'm, yeah, I'm going to no, give him that. I, in no way would, I, would my hands touch the internet or my eyes. Read it, read it verbatim again, Woody. Uh, just would you rather give up the internet or sex for a year? I, See, I think if he wants, are we to... talking about an alternate universe where there just is no internet? Because no, 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 horrible. No. I think I'm talking about where everyone has it, but like you go in Amish mode, not having anything to do with the internet. No, I think it'd still be fair if he could say, you know, be like, "Hey, Woody, would you mind uploading this new video for me?" Exactly. I think that's legit. Like my microwave series, for example, should still be able to go on without the internet. I'll just, you know, mail you a thumb drive and you upload it. <laughs> yeah, if you can do that, I'm giving up the internet because I don't need, uh, I don't know, Google or porn sites that bad. I love that those are my top two. <laughs> Google, <laughs> Google porn and porn sites. sites. And one leads to the other. Google <laughs> <laughs> find porn sites. <laughs> you know, Kyle goes back to 15 years old and be like, Google's porn. <laughs> I can see Kyle right now on the plane just staring at the fucking shitty ass movie because he can't surf the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like, think I, I think I, I like sex. I enjoy it. It's a, kind of what I've built my life. It's around. kind of my thing. <laughs> if there were no sex, I would need no internet. I would just kill myself. Okay, I have a would you rather for you guys. All right. Would you rather have a one hundred percent shot of getting one million dollars or a fifty fifty shot at ten million? One hundred percent, because I'll hundred percent shot. Million, but if it was like a billion. Then I'd weigh the options. See, I had that same thing, right? really Like, we much. learned about odds and gambling and such, right? And, and like, the mathematical answer to this is yeah. you definitely want the, the 50-50 shot, right? Because that 50-50 shot at $10 million is worth $5 million. Like, you know. It's worth it, $9 million. It's worth it's No, worth no, it's worth $5 million. You're not getting anything. Oh, I see. Yeah, lose. yeah, a 50-50 shot at $10 million is worth 5 So... You know, like in theory, you're offering me something worth a million or something worth five, but a million's a lot. Like, See, my uh, thought is that if I have a million dollars, I can turn that into ten million dollars really easily. Really? What's your trick? I mean, give, give me five years, and people way smarter with money than I am, and I'll, you know, I'll be all set. Or you could be like Rocky. I don't think so. There's a lot of people who have money and they don't double it every five years. No, I'm not like talking about but doubling you could. it. I but, mean, you know, event. No, oh, I'm doubling. sorry. You talked about getting a ten banger in five yeah. years. <laughs> You're like, you oh, the best stock guy on the planet. If I, yeah, here, here's a hundred grand in ten, in five years. I expect this to be worth a. Uh, if you know that, that guy, hook me up. Yeah, that would be a <laughs> million. Like that. That is my an, feeling is that I I'm just saying I would rather have the hundred percent shot at a million because I would not you'd be able to do more with that than you know the fifty fifty shot at ten million. No, the way the way I look at it is a million dollars isn't going to change my life, and I don't think it'd change anyone's life unless they're just retarded. It only changes your life if you go out and start buying Ferraris and shit. But it changed my life that I'm not going to be exactly in that crippling debt it, from going a, to college. A million, I'd probably die. A million dollars die right now soon. would make me debt free. And I'd put the rest of it in a fucking savings account. Seriously. Just, a million dollars wild, would change my life. I'd probably die. I mean, it wouldn't be like completely no, it, it may change your life for the next 
couple of years, but your life as a whole is going to turn out pretty much the same way. But the way I want to live my life with a million dollars, my life will only last a couple more years. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm That's saying is if, you, if but, I get $10 million, now I can change my life. Now I don't have to multiply my money by 10 times to be filthy rich. Now I just got to multiply my money by 10% a year, and I'm filthy rich. But Kyle, like, he, see, I have a lot of you know, co-workers and guys in, in this situation. They, they come out of college, they have some debt, and then they get married and they buy a house. And then they, at the same time, are working to pay off their mortgage and their college debt for the next 30 or 45 years, if they say move in the middle of the house thing. If you were to just drop a million, actually a whole lot less than that, then that would almost double their income for that entire being in debt period. That million could do more than that. It could pay off their student loans, it could pay off their house, and it would ensure that their kids didn't finish college in the same situation they were in. Like that's yeah, it, it's almost generational wealth, you know. If you could drop a million dollars and do the right thing with it, I just it also make their life longer from less stress. Like what it doesn't do is it doesn't give you like a pimping yacht and like the Kim Kardashian lifestyle. Like one million yeah, I don't need a yacht though. I hear you, Not, yeah, but tonight. like the thing about you know paying your housing forever, you know paying that house off, um, like making your cars paid for, like that sort of thing just greases the skids. Those those drains that that. that stick their tentacles into your income and just suck on it for, you know, decades wouldn't be there if you had a million dollar injection. So it would be pretty different. I'll say, I'll say this. I, let me give you this example. My, I have an uncle who was paying child support on six kids for 18 years each. So they Damn. overlapped each other but for a very long period of time. So there was a long period of time where he was paying child support for six kids. It was like destroying him. That's all of his money. He had no money left. He was basically destitute while still working overtime. You know what I mean? Like the worst of situations. His life's no different now, now that he's got it all paid off than it was beforehand. It's pretty much the same life as far as quality of life and what he can do. Really? I th- yeah. Even though he's much. not paying six child supports, he's not having an, an He's increase. living the same life. He's doing something wrong. Yeah, he made a mistake somewhere along the way. Did his <laughs> income drop? No. Same thing. Did he just start buying more shit when he had money? No, see, he's not doing anything with it. There's, there's not that much money to begin with. I, the, the way I look at it is, is that ten million dollars. Yeah, well, you're taking out the, forever. you're taking out the factor that he doesn't have to work overtime anymore. No if he doesn't want to, he chooses to. There's a difference when you choose to work overtime and when you have to work overtime. And then when well, he stops true. working he doesn't work, overtime, he'll he probably, the, uh, he'll probably overtime. live in a good life. Like, he'll probably be able to enjoy himself a lot more. I mean, he, he, he's at work thinking, man, I really want to go home, but I can't. But when he didn't have the child support, he's like, I'm feeling, feeling, feeling pretty bad. I'm going to take a half day today. And he can do that. I'd rather have $10 million not work at all. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, or you could have zero with a 50% flip. It's not a guaranteed I, thing. I would definitely take that chance, though. Well, if you had okay, no so money. I, I would view it like poker, dude. I, I would view it objectively. It's like if, if you're in a poker game and. You know the pot odds are right. You, you take the bet no matter what. It's it's just statistically the correct move to make. You remove your feelings from the situation, from the decision, and you do it mathematically. And the mathematical answer is go for the ten million. Okay, so if you had the one million, let's just say hypothetically you chose the one million, what would you do with it? Um, I don't know. Buy another house. Yeah, boring shit. I'd be totally responsible with it. <laughs> 